Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you have any opinions at all that you would like to share, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. The band Camino, try hard. The band Camino are an American indie rock band, or more of a duo as I'm recording this, led by frontman, lead vocalist, and keyboardist Jeffrey Jordan. This is my first exposure to the band, diving in completely blind thanks to a viewer suggestion, always happy to discover more bands. Weirdly enough, I always get a bit stressed when I get requests for indie bands like this, as I'm always paranoid there's like a cult following just ready to crucify me if I mispronounce or criticize really anything. But hey, I'm just here to check out the group and their 30p tryhard. Funnily enough, when I was checking this out on Apple Music, I thought this was a debut album since it was listed in the album category, not the singles or EP section. But ramble aside, what are my thoughts on the EP tryhard? Let's find out as I review it track by track. We will start with the singles, with there being three of them. The first being one of the band's bigger hits, Daphne Blue, which doesn't hold anything back on opening seconds, with the much shriller, piercing guitar riff just making its presence known immediately. Then that leads to Jeffrey's voice, which is a good voice, don't get me wrong, but on first listen, and many subsequent listens, I couldn't help but think, okay, is this guy trying to be Post Malone? But thankfully that thought has mostly subsided by now. The chorus definitely has some nice pop elements with a punky, exhilarating garnish sung by Spencer. Kind of reminds me of an all-time low type of chorus, which is a compliment. Lyrically, it deals with reminiscing about this girl, just a lot of things reminding him of her. It's anthemic, it's punchy, and it works. Good song. The second single, See Through, tones things back a little bit, embracing more natural pop tropes. Ripples of synthetic ambience, plus some snaps incorporated as well into these verses, which are pretty vibey. Nothing wrong with them at all, but for me, it's this wonderful chorus that just shines so bright. The rocking beat comes in suddenly with the aggressive percussion and even more cries of the guitar. The vocal melodies here are so satisfying all the way throughout as Jeff sings about this girl who doesn't express the same interest he does, putting him on the back burner as she's waiting for someone else. It's an inviting pop rock song with a catchy hook, right up my alley. Great song. And the third and final single, Honest, definitely features a lot more nostalgic elements, hearkening back to the 80s with this funky bass line, the twinkling synth work, sounding like something the Night Game would have done. But instead, where the Night Game fell on the pop side, this song leans ever closer to the rockier side, and I like it for that. Plus, it also includes a beautiful solo. Lyrically, it's about being unsure on the status of this relationship with him wanting this partner to be honest. Not really too much else to say about this one. The vocals are nice and the chorus has a decent punch to it. Although it is probably the weakest out of the three singles in my opinion, but it's still a good track. Now for the rest of the songs. Opener What I Want is actually a remastered cut from their 2017 EP Heaven. And this one's kind of just mad to me, especially on the instrumental aspects. I do like how heavy the instrumentation can get, and the solo is nice too, but that's only for a few brief seconds, and that drop just loses its initial flair very quickly. That's a big problem with this track in my opinion, there's not much fire here, and the punch is pretty frail overall, and for an opening track for an EP like this, I feel like you do at least want a heavier punch, especially when tracks like Daphne Blue exist and are on this EP. Lyrically, it's just about this relationship that crumbled because he wouldn't be someone he's not and now he's all alone. Frankly though, this one's just a little bit sleepy, I gotta pass here. Hush Hush rebounds right out of the gate with a much more pop punk rock directed track, and this would have been a wonderful opener. It sets the energy and the mood of the EP well with the guitar riffing and a plunky bass on the verses just sounding wonderful. But for me, it's the pounds of the drums that ignite this track on the chorus alongside such a catchy melody to boot. Jeff's vocals are very well done here all throughout the track as he sings about wanting to keep everything a secret, just everything restricted to him and his partner. This is a great track, worth a listen. Haunted transports us right back to the 80s again with this gradually building synth melody before the driving drum beat kicks in, 
and then the track suddenly drops in tempo for the verses which all leads up to this grand soaring passionate chorus that is just so filled with warmth as these lyrics resonate this spiritual feeling about being haunted by the ghost of this past relationship, especially in the nighttime when his thoughts run rampant. Track has some great energy all around, nice ups and downs sonically, almost has a power ballad styling to it, and I quite enjoy it. Farsighted easily has the most punky, upbeat feel on the entire EP. There's just an electrifying vibe here which is demonstrated tenfold on this chorus with the repeated skittering of the cymbals and high octane drums and guitar melody. The verses have a lot more of a pop exuberance with the clapping, synth work, not to mention a friendly, inviting vocal performance from Jeff. It's the melodies that really sell this track for me though. It's just such an earworm as these lyrics about how when you're in the middle of a situation, everything's kind of blurry and unclear, but when you take a step back, it starts to become clear. Probably my favorite track on this EP. Great song. And finally, the closer Break Me isn't the type of closer I was expecting, which was much more of some sort of indie ballad that's pretty common, especially with such a pessimistic title. But instead, we get another solid infectious pop rock cut with these shrieks of the guitar that kind of remind me of some of the Killers' music, which I'm always a fan of. Both vocalists do a good job, but I naturally like Spencer's voice more. I think it just suits the genre the band's going for here. Just sounds better in my opinion. And lyrically, it is as negative as the title would pertain about moving on from this whole friends with benefits thing, but it only ends up being more hurtful than before. Pretty alright closer. I like it. Overall, I'm pretty damn happy with this EP. It certainly surpassed my original expectations with its tight grooves, catchy songwriting, and ear candy melodies pretty much all the way throughout. It's a journey that arguably gets better as you traverse through the track list, and this should absolutely be seen by more people. I'm feeling about an 8.5 out of 10 on the CP. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.